I've seen enemies dig holes for me to fall in. Praise God. And I've seen Jesus build a bridge across the hole. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. I've had enemies to put me in a pit. And I mean, it was a deep pit. I couldn't hear nobody pray. Praise the Lord. But I cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. He heard me. He heard me. He heard me. David said he brought me out of a terrible pit. Praise the Lord. The deeper the pit, the greater your God. Because he's going to bring you out. He's going to leave you down there. Because every valley is going to be filled. Oh, hallelujah. You didn't hear me. I say every valley. Everybody who got a valley, your valley going to be filled. That's the word. Every valley is going to be filled. Praise the Lord. So there's no point in going crazy, pulling your hair out just because you got a valley. The Lord's going to fill it. That's right. He's going to fill that valley. He's going to put a bridge right across it. So you can just shout across. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can choose how you want to cross it. You can shout across it or you can just walk across it. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I will assure you, you'll never fall in. You'll never fall in. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. One writer said he'll give his angels charge over you. Less than any time you dash your foot against the stone. Praise the name of our God. And I like that because when I know the angels are all around me, got charge, charge over you. That word charge over you. Charge over you. Which means the angels have been charged. They have been given authority. Take care of her. Go with her wherever she go. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sit in the front seat of a car. Don't let her go down town by herself. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Go to bed with her. Praise the Lord. While she's sleeping, you stand by the bed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! <laughs> she's going through something. And I don't want her to faint. She's up against something. And I don't want her to backslide. Praise the name of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to have charge over her. Have charge over her. Now, can't you tell somebody's helping you? You ought to know that by now. <laughs> Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because some of us have been so close to backsliding until we could almost see it. But we didn't backslide because the angel had charge over it. Praise the name of God. Now, thank you, Jesus. So, mountains are built by people. And on this occasion, the mountain was built by King Nebuchadnezzar. And when the king built a mountain, oh, children, nobody can tear that mountain down. Praise the Lord, nobody. <laughs> nobody. Holly, once he put his initial to the situation, once he authorizes it, that's it. He will take nothing but a God to erase what the king has written. Nothing but a God. And that's what I love about God. He can erase even what the doctor writes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The doctor has written on some of your charts that are sitting here when you're in the hospital. Critical. Critical. Won't make it. Call the family. And here you are sitting in church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. How did all of that happen? Because God has the last say. Not man. God has the last say, children. And when the Lord blesses you, he just blesses you. 
praise the Lord, against all the forces that come against you. Oh, praise his adorable name. Hallelujah. So, Nebuchadnezzar said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, is it true that you refuse to worship the gods that I have set up? They say, yes, sir. It is true. Hallelujah. They are not like some folks. Under pressure, they tell a lie. Shadrach and Meshach and the goes, no, I ain't gonna lie about it. I'm gonna tell you just like it is. Praise the Lord, we didn't bow and we won't bow. Praise. We didn't bow yesterday and we are not gonna bow today. And no, there's no point in waiting for tomorrow because our minds are made up. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. What we said yesterday, we say the same thing today. So there's no point in waiting till tomorrow, O oh, King Nebuchadnezzar, because tomorrow our testimony would be the same. Oh, hallelujah. Do you realize, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that I'm about to order you burn in the fire furnace? Yes, we understand that. Do you realize that I'm ordering the furnace to be heated seven times hotter? Do you realize that you'll be cremated in a matter of seconds? Yes, we realize that. Then you better change your mind, buddy. But Shadrach and Meshach and Abednego said it takes more than a furnace to change my mind. <laughs> Praise the Lord, hallelujah. What I know about God my mind isn't apt to change. You know, children, you learn so much from the things you suffer. You learn so much from the things that you have to go through. Day by day, some of you all are going through hell. But you're learning something all while you're going through it. You're not just going through it and coming out with nothing you're coming out with a testimony. And a testimony means something today. Oh, yes it does. It means something to be able to say, when you wake up in the morning, I'm still saved. Means something when you go to bed at night to say, I've been saved all day. And I'm glad it means something. Because everybody can't say that. Oh, hallelujah, but somebody still have that testimony. In spite of the mountain, in spite of the mountain uh, that someone have projected in your path, you still have your testimony. Oh, hallelujah, as a matter of fact, my testimony is stronger today than it was last year. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It seemed to me that the enemies that are on my case ought to learn some sense. Praise the Lord, they're stupid. I thought they, have, they would learn some sense and go away and leave me alone. Because every time they mess with me, God does something for me. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And that tells me something. It keeps on acquainting me with God. Hallelujah. Sometimes it makes my heart rejoice when I know Satan is working on my case. I'm telling you, I get happy in my soul because I say the Lord must have something waiting for me somewhere. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He must have something good waiting for me. And the devil have gotten in on it, and he's trying to cut me off before I get there. Oh, but I have a made-up mind. And when you have a made-up mind, it doesn't matter about the mountain. Because you know where you stand, and you know how you got here. Oh, thank you, Jesus. You know you came through 
difficult times and came through difficult situations. And you didn't come just by guess, but you came on the rough side of the mountain. And as you came up on the rough side of the mountain, oh glory, you can look back and say, look here, look where he brought me from. Oh glory.